I'll give some people some time to connect up here before I start talking about what I'm doing. Oh, let's see here. Hey, everybody. Hello, hello. Hey folks. Hey Kevin. All right. Let's actually turn this around. Sorry if that was disorienting. Okay. There we go. So you guys can see that wheel and the car and everything. Obviously this is just an impromptu live session. Um, today I had Maxi Minis. No problem. Thanks for joining for a minute here. So today it's totally impromptu. I have just driven my car to work today and there's like a scraping noise. I'm pretty sure it's the drum back here on the uh, back plate. My back plate's a little warped from a, a stupid previous owner, this guy right here, um, warping it back when I initially installed them. But uh, I think that the new drum is scraping it and it's making the, the worst noise, the worst noise. So I'm really hoping that I can figure it out. Um, I figured you guys might, be, might enjoy seeing this. So um, I'm gonna live stream. I'm not gonna be like super engaged the whole time because obviously I'm gonna be working on the car, but um, if you have questions or whatever, post them, and if I see them, I'll, I'll answer them. Mark, it's pretty late over there in the UK. You guys, you're up late tonight. <laughs> Cupid Lezard. Thanks, man. Yeah, Kevin, that's what I'm hoping for, too. Um, Dave B., these here, um, I think they're original. I mean, they were original with my car. I didn't buy them. Um, Kevin, I actually... Uh, <laughs> yeah, my jack is... Uh, uh, seen better days. But as you can see, I painted this prior to putting it back on. I also painted the back plate. So I'm hoping that if there, that if it's making contact, I'll see it somewhere on here. So uh, let's, uh, that's kind of warm. Okay. I need some gloves.
Wrench party. Painting your garage, like the walls and everything. Hey, Jack. Floor. Are you using like a floor epoxy? The brake shoe adjustment nut? I can never remember. If you see that, it's 11.30 seconds. The stupidest thing. All right, let's look here. Oh yeah, right down here. We're getting an ass load of contact down here. And I think I might be able to bend this a little bit back. Eh, I'm not gonna bend it. Regular gauge floor paint, cool. I used epoxy on my floor. I don't know if you saw the engine rebuilds or the workroom redo stuff, but that actually, uh, that was a process and uh, I did it wrong. So I was gonna give you some tips if you were doing that. Cool. Well, I'm glad I can see. I can actually see where right down here. Let's see if I can show you guys. Ugh. Jack, I have a 1293 in my mini. It's from an Austin America. Now, that video is not really showing it, but it's definitely worn down down here. So instead of, uh, so, I think I am gonna get my angle grinder out and I'm just gonna grind that down because this thing is definitely warped. This plate is old. I don't wanna show you guys the back cause it's in really bad shape. So just pretend like it looks okay. And uh, I'm gonna go real ginger and I'm gonna, I'm gonna angle grind that down. I wonder if I can mute this so that it's not like crazy loud. Let's see, settings. Okay, cool. When I get that angle grinder out, I'm gonna mute this channel just so it's not like ear blistering. Kevin, uh, that is definitely something I'd wanna do, but if I'm gonna spend the money to get a billet back plates, I'm just gonna go for discs because I imagine those billet things are pretty expensive. Has it ruined the drum, Paul? No, actually it hasn't. This drum is in really great shape. Um, you can actually see it here. It's just a little rusty on the back, but it's barely even scored. This thing is really tough. That back plate's pretty weak metal. So I'll be right back. I'm gonna go grab my cords. Look at my flip flops. Oh yeah. Hey, Sig. Yeah, you like that truck? Get yourself a Tacoma. Leave the Frontier Club. Steven Stokes saying that the back plate is knackered. Dodge it with the angle grinder for now until you can get a new back plate. Yeah, that's the plan. Um, uh, it's definitely, it's definitely something that needs to be updated. That's some metal shavings in there. Um, but that'll be during the whole. I'll probably do that when I pull the subframe out later, uh, later this year. And by later this year, I mean in a, about a month. 
So, cool. I'm just going to bring you guys with me because it's going to be back and forth here for a minute. That way I can see if you guys are saying something to me. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, or, uh, so for those of you that don't know about this back plate, this is definitely not like, what I'm doing right now with the angle grinder is not a solution. It's a temporary fix so I don't go crazy until I get a new back plate. But what can cause that back plate to get like screwed up and knackered as, uh, as you guys are saying is um, the, there's a few things. Heat can do it. Heat can really damage it, but most of the time you don't end up with a lot of heat back there unless your like wheel bearings fairy, unless your wheel bearing is failing. Um, but if you're an idiot like me, you will you will have used a pry bar, and if you try to pry the drum off, a lot of times you can bend that back plate. So I bent it at some point doing something stupid naturally. So I have to. Uh, deal with those consequences now and those consequences are it being really loud adam champion uh or campion uh i've never watched a live stream before this is brilliant hey well welcome this is like um i think my third or fourth one i don't know i'm definitely not a pro or anything it's not the right size. Jonathan, I'm more than happy to film this stuff for you guys. I, I really enjoy sharing this kind of stuff. Oh, there we go. Ouch. Oh, Chubby, that's a bummer, but it's kind of par for the course for the mini is finding rot where you didn't think there was any. So, as long as you get it fixed. Multi star mouse, I like the way that you say knackered, cool. <laughs> yeah, I probably say it wrong. God, all those cars up there are so loud. Look at all these discs I've got. I don't even know what to use. Metal grinding. These are all the same. <laughs> the plastic over my window. So this room is not like a finished room in my house. I mean, we've done a lot of work in here and put drywall and stuff up, but you can hear that train in the background. This room is just like not soundproof and it is not fully sealed. So in the winter, if I put this up here, it seals it a lot. And then I've got my floor heater here, which you guys can't hear in the videos, but that's on. It's been on pretty much the whole winter. And uh, that keeps me warm in here while I'm jabbering on. Dave B, what about a quick under seal top up on the inner arch while the wheel is off? It's not a bad idea. I don't know if I have any of that though. No, I do not have any, I don't have any under sealer. Otherwise I would most definitely do that. Where did I put that thing? All right. Now I gotta find that Allen key. So I don't know about you guys, but these, I'm not sure what they're called in the UK. They're called Allen keys here, Allen wrenches. And this is like my least favorite tool. I've never, I've never used one of these where it didn't end up stripping one. It drives me crazy. But, what? I don't know about you guys. Um, XDTEK, uh, fixing my mini, 90% done by watching your videos, man. That's crazy. That's great. I'm really glad that I could help you out. Um, you know, uh, that's, that's really cool. I'd love to see pictures of it when you're done. 
Chubby, any suggestions on reducing the weight of the mini without looking racy? Um, anything you can change like under the car that would switch to like billet or aluminum um, would definitely help. Uh, that's a really good way to kind of reduce the weight in a way that people probably couldn't see it. Um, and then past that, things like, hmm, like changing the hubs, that's a good way to do it. Changing the hubs to a lightweight aluminum, um, that would yield you a pretty good amount of weight reduction. Oh, okay. Yeah, all right. I don't think I've, it looks like I've used this, but I don't remember using this, this uh, disc. So, should be exciting. Hopefully I don't mess up my brand new wheel cylinders. Hey Bradley from the UK. Man, all you guys are up like super late, isn't it? Like what? It's almost midnight there, isn't it? I don't know, it feels like late late to me, but I guess it's not that late. Yeah, Chubby, they they always strip things. They're they're whoever invented these. Alan, Alan is the worst. We need to send Alan some mean mail. William Wallace, I'm 17 thinking about getting a Mini for the first car. Do you have any advice? Um, if you get it for a first car, it is not like a modern car. I mean, it's not got the like kind of fluff that comes along with a modern car and it comes with a lot of extra work. It's not hard work and it's definitely doable, um, especially if uh, you know, you're looking to learn how to work on your car. If you aren't willing to learn though, um, it will cost you a lot of money. So. Uh, but if you're willing to do stuff yourself, you're definitely in for a treat. Oh, it's only 10. Okay. Thank you for, for the, uh, the U.S. version of, of time, Chubby. It would have taken me, I would have had to calculate that in my head. And, you know, I mean, Americans are not great at math. All right. I'm heading out there now. Oh, wait, I got to run a wire. Midnight in Greece. Always wanted to go to Greece. Jack Thomas, do I have a straight cut gearbox in my Mini? No, I don't. I have loosely considered it a few times. Um, there's another guy who watches this channel and uh, he sent me, it was in the, the really, really cool motor that was showcased in my customer showcase video. Um, I was talking to him on Facebook and he told me that you can actually get a straight cut gearbox and make it kind of quiet. Um, I'd always thought they were, I always thought, I always thought they were really loud, but um, but apparently there's ways to kind of mitigate that a little bit. But to answer your question, I don't know if I did. I don't have one in my car. Dave B, this is great. I'm streaming you live from my phone to the Chromecast on the TV. Win for technology. <laughs> That's really cool. That is really cool. So like everyone in your house right now, can you hear me talking? It's really hard to do all this at the same time. Jack, how long have I had my Mini? I have had it for about nine years, and about seven of those years it's been running. Um, Minisaurus, what diff ratio are you running with your 10-inch wheels? 90% sure I put a 2.95 in here when I put the car back together. I'd have to go back through my emails to be 100% on that, but pretty sure, pretty sure. Wife is not amused. She loves crocheting. Well, Dave B's wife, I would love it if you'd crochet me a little mini. I'd love to see one of those. Is 
safety first, guys. Okay, so I am going to mute the phone while I do this. Chubby, you're wearing shorts, and I was wearing a t-shirt, jumper, jacket, and scarf today while you were working on the car. Oh, you're <laughs> yeah, well, in fairness, it was 50 degrees here yesterday, and now it's 75 uh, Fahrenheit. Hello, Mr. Sykes in North Wales. Minisaurus, the standard ratio for my engine. I don't remember. This engine's from an Austin America, so it was built for 12-inch wheels on a bigger car. Um, so... Honestly, I can't even remember what it was when I got it. Oh yeah, thanks John. Jonathan, John, I need to get those. Now we're good. All right, you guys are going on mute for a minute. I'll be back in just a sec. All right, look at that. All scraped up. Let's put the sucker back on here. <laughs> oh. I'm like on the fence about cutting a little bit more off. I kind of want to, just to be like extra sure, but maybe I won't. Oh, hey, Dave. Well, thanks for joining. Oh, you put your mini on the, uh, on a, a, oh, a second mini, I see, on the spit jig. I've always wanted to use one of those, but I haven't had a chance to. Chris, if, uh, if I cut myself, it's 911, which wouldn't really help in the UK, but I'm in North Carolina, I'm in Charlotte. Should be okay though, knock on wood. Oh wait, that's not wood. Okay, Ooh, let's put this back on. Now, you guys might have seen, if you were paying close attention, that I only have one of these posi drive screws in here. Screws. Um, and that's because I have an old hub on here that doesn't actually accept this size screw. Um, one of the holes worked, but the other one didn't. Um, this thing over here is just, just a mess. There's a reason I didn't go into this too deeply in my video recently. So, yeah. Like I said, only one of these holes work. This is not recommended. This is, this is stupid coal recommended. I think that's still gonna scrape. So Dave, I wonder, I've actually been running this without screws for a long time. Um, 
And previously I was using a drum and then, uh, and then a spacer on the drum and it didn't make any noise, but I also didn't have those screws in there then. Um, so what do you think? You think I should just leave both screws off for now until I can get a new hub and then replace the hub with one that actually works with those screws? Bradley, I actually don't know what those Mamba wheels look like, uh, so undecided. Okay, good tip, good tip, Dave. I'm gonna take this off. Yeah, chubby. Minotaur wheels for the win. I love these things. And they're holding up really strong. All this like rust that you can see inside there is actually just from the lugs. It's not even from the wheel. Ooh, almost forgot. And I swear I'm gonna put this wheel on eventually. the Yoko tires. Yeah, those Yokos are great. I've heard really good things. I've heard they're kind of bouncy too. Chris, does everyone in the U.S. recognize the Mini or do you have to tell them what it is? 80% mm, of the time I have to tell them what it is. Dave, mine is a Mark 1 body engines out of an Austin America. And uh, there's a lot of replaced parts on it though too, so it's not super original. The body is mostly original, mostly. This is the part where I normally have a time lapse, so it looks like I'm doing this a lot faster. GB10 by five. Point four with the Yoko's Chubby are right. Take care when the road has moisture because, yes, that's a good point. Dave B, it is Tahiti Blue. I don't know if it's metallic. I got it done by like a budget shop uh, here in the in North Carolina at the time, um, and uh, and I actually wanted more of a, like a midnight blue. My understanding is that the Tahiti blue is different in the UK. Um, you know, feel free to correct me on that. But so I wanted like a midnight blue when I first got the car painted, and I ended up getting the wrong color. But I just left it because I didn't feel like arguing with the shop and it looked good. So, yeah, all right. Well, that's the part where I go take it for a drive. I, uh, I don't know if I can switch the camera so that it like, I don't even know. Oh no. Maybe I'll just bring it around the block. I'll know pretty quick. Dave, if I'm looking for a Mark 1 Cooper S, if you hear of one, let me know. I take the, it, they are cheaper in the US due to the dollar at the moment. It's a, uh, um, lost my train of thought. 
they are a little bit cheaper here. Um, although there was a Mark One Cooper S that just sold for fifty thousand dollars about a month ago. So I'm not sure if it's that much cheaper here. Okay. So guys, I'm gonna bring this around the block real quick. I'm not gonna end the live stream. I'm just gonna keep it going. So don't worry, I will be back in just a minute. And hopefully, Everybody doesn't leave while I'm uh, out driving. So, Cup, I, I, I don't know how to say your username. Cup Dude, I don't know if I can, uh, if I can bring you because you're on Wi-Fi right now. So if I leave, I'm not sure if it'll switch. We can give it a try. I'm more than willing to give it a shot. I also don't know how my gimbal works in the car. Let's give it a shot. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> All right. Yes. All right, so I'm setting up my gimbal in here. It probably is looking like I'm just like beating the shit out of this thing. So give me a minute. Okay, sorry if you were talking to me. Also, this gimbal is gonna try and like keep my camera straight. So the view is not gonna be very exciting for you guys, but you might get some cool sound. Also, also you may lose me. Um, so if the live stream cuts out, I will be right back. I'll, I'll get it reconnected as soon as I possibly can. Um, but I guess we're gonna test it and see what happens. Startup time. All right, so how disorienting was that? That worked? Timer still counting. Hey.
Oh, hi, Adam. All right, welcome back, guys. I guess that the Wi-Fi cut out. All right. Dave B., what color mini would you like my wife, Laura Briggs, to crochet for you? Oh, uh, can you do it blue? Blue like this mini? That would be really cool. Okay, so that scraping is still happening, but it is a million times better. Um, but I guess we'll just grind it some more. So, people still in here? I'm assuming you guys can still hear me. Dave, is the back plate... I'm assuming if you're asking if the back plate is catching the hub or if it's... or what's binding. I'll show you when I take the wheel off again here. Uh, Dave B, where is it best to jack up in the rear? Um, there's a flat face of your rear subframe over here, and you can just jack it up from that point. And then my jack stand sits right at the main joint, right at the front of the subframe where all of the joints meet together. I found that's the easiest place to do it. Kevin, the noise is not gone. It's better though, it's better, but not totally gone. That right there, yeah, it's just a little stone. Thanks for checking though. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna flip this around a minute, get a better camera on this. So, right there at the bottom, oh, camera, what are you doing? So this is where it was, uh, where it was scraping, Dave answer your question and it's the back plate rubbing up against this I know for sure because there was paint missing but I went ahead and ground that down but I don't think that I got enough of it ground down um, I'm planning on replacing this back plate here in the relatively near future but until I do that I need to not be going crazy while I'm driving and that noise is driving me crazy. Blue potato, I think that kind of answers your question too. Just double checking, there's nowhere else that it's scraping. All right. 
just flip that back. FS split, how is the fuel economy? I want one so bad, but I'm young and I can't spend much money. Um, so F split, the fuel economy is fine. I mean, it's it's not like crazy good or anything, but it's it's like totally like manageable. Um, you know, I bought this when I was in college. I didn't have it, I didn't have very much money. And like, I was definitely able to drive this without a problem. Um, Filling up is like 12 to 15 US dollars. And it's got a five gallon tank in my car. Other cars might have a bigger one. And the fuel economy, I think last time I looked at it, it was like 25-ish. Um, so not too bad. Um, the blue potato is the back plate bent, mine was and just bent it into shape after a few beers and had paint rubbing and noise. Yes, yeah, it's bent because I pried on my uh, my drum to get it off, so cause that. Um, Dave, try to add some washers on the studs and then see if it, if it is the tolerance. Maybe the hub is out of true. It's possible, and actually it's pretty likely that the hub is out of true. I mean, it's it's old. It's a very old hub, but it doesn't bind in any way, and the bearing's been replaced recently. Um, I mean, relatively recently. Um, also, Dave, can I leave those washers on there? Okay, good to know. Good to know. I will not leave the washers on there. <laughs> Grabbing some washers now to test it. Rose, Rose or Red Ferrari, uh, I don't know of any quick releases for the steering wheel. They definitely exist, I just don't know about them. Washers. Just enough to lift it off of the back, okay. Trying to find four that are like roughly the same size. Obviously those don't fit on there, but I'll just have to do. Yeah, there we go. So Dave, 
still making the noise. Which is interesting. Let me loosen up this brake adjuster. I'm gonna show you guys something. Dave, I think you're gonna find this interesting. You can actually see how askew this thing is. Check that out. That is way off. Dave, the washers are roughly the same size? Yes. Chubby, you really want me to use a hammer, don't you? <laughs> I might have to. Yeah. So definitely have to change the back plate. That's definitely not a question. Something that I'm going to have to do on this side, no matter what. But what I think I'm going to do is for right now, I want to get this running and at least partially and, and working, you know, all right for the mini event that's coming up here in a couple of weeks. And I'm going to see if I can get this working with just a hammer. <laughs> will it bend? <laughs> Probably will. Let me go get my hammer. So Dave, um, you want me to skim off the hub? Yeah, that's a lot of, that, that's kind of my thoughts, uh, Jonathan and Dave, that's my concern is it's a lot of metal to skim. 
wondering if it, I might be more successful if I hammer it, hammer the, the hell out, out of it, as it were. Jonathan, I, I, you know, this obviously is the bottom of my back plate and it might have, uh, that might have been what it was. So I'm going to mute this again so that you guys uh, don't have to cover your ears. Oh, I see Dave. All right, muting. All right, can you guys hear me? I'm assuming so, I unmuted the microphone. It, it's time to check. Oh. Yeah, 
the drum popped off over here. Or the shoe did. There we go. Bounce those suckers right off. a little better. Not quite there yet. Better is better than worse. <laughs> that might be my new saying. Adam, see, my wheel, my wheel bearing is good. That's for that for sure is good. And yeah, let's see if I can show you the clearance difference now. Hang on, I have my camera the other way. Let me get this fixed up for you. Yeah, it's definitely better. Listen to that. Almost nothing. That might just be the uh, drums, actually. Shoes. The shoes. You'll have to excuse me saying the wrong things here. I, uh... I don't have my Final Cut Pro editing software here available to me so I can edit out the things that I say wrong. So you guys get the wrong cut, improper words. I'm unscrewing this bolt this way. <laughs> that was pretty cool. So we can do it with this one. <laughs> That's dumb. I like that. All right, let's adjust that screw on the back with my 11 seconds wrench. I don't remember how many notches I have. One, two, three, more, five, And I must have really loosened that adjustment screw. For some reason, YouTube has stopped automatically showing me the chat. So if I'm slow to respond, it's because I'm actually not seeing them without touching the screen. Ooh, that's too tight.
Dick Johnson, how often do you drive your Mini? Um, before, uh, before I had issues with these brakes, I actually drove it pretty much daily, unless it's, uh, unless it's raining here. I just don't particularly enjoy driving my Mini in the rain in the United States. Um, all of our high, all of our roads are really high speed, like all the time. Um, so if I drive it in the rain, it's just kind of unpleasant. But otherwise, I drive it most every day. Um, Wheel back on. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I didn't see the username or who said this, but the southern driving bit, yeah. I, uh, I've driven in Atlanta. I haven't driven there in a while, thankfully, but it is just miserable. It is not a place that I particularly like to drive. Damn it, where'd that other wheel lug go? How do I always lose one of these things? Ugh. Seriously, I always lose a lug. I always put them. Well guys, if I uh, lost my lug here, I might not be able to test this. Surely I put this somewhere where I would find it. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Jonathan, thank you. Man, you must have like a photographic memory or something because it was literally right behind the camera. That's spooky. Are you here with me? Looking at you. The blue potato. Make sure you go back and put some chassis paint on the marks you made with the hammer. Yes, actually, to be honest with you, I probably will not do that um, simply because I'm going to be taking this plate off. I don't really care if it rusts at this point. Um, it'll just be coming off and getting replaced with something better. But I'm gonna take this for a drive again. But this time, I don't think I'm gonna bring you guys with me because this gimbal had a minor meltdown when I did. So I'm just gonna set you guys right here. You can watch me drive away. And then I will be back here in two shakes of a lamb's tail. Be back in two.
All right. It's fixed, you guys. It's fixed. Whoa. Going wild with that camera. Sorry, guys, if it's bouncy. Okay. Boom. It's fixed. All right, I'm gonna roll back here and see what you guys said. Okay, there's a lot of stuff in here. <laughs> okay, okay, I see you guys were just talking. Um, Dave, yes, I uh, have a tendency to drive into my driveway a little fast. Um, it's a good thing that those brakes work, thinking about it now. But it's all good, it's all good. Garage is still in, intact. Well, that would have been a pretty cool uh, live video. Uh, Jonathan, thanks. But, so good. I can't, I'm so glad that this is done. It's, it's, I'm, my sanity is saved. I'm actually gonna be able to drive this for a long period of time at the event. And then when I get back, I can change it out for like, I don't know, maybe I'll just change the whole radius arm. And uh, regarding the seatbelt, it's my neighborhood. It's little, it's a little neighborhood, minus the kind of busy road that's right in front of my house. But um, the blue potato, are you gonna come to the CMU event? I will definitely be there from Wednesday until a, a day. I'll be there until at least Friday. I have to be honest with you guys, most of the time I will get to the event, I'll drive for you know the majority of the time, and then Saturday I'm just so ready to be in like a modern car and uh, stuff. So we'll see. I'll probably be there till Sunday though. Um, Blue Potato, I will be bringing the Tacoma. It will be flat towing the Mini for the first time ever. First time. Um, oh, your Tacoma. Well, we can be Tacoma buddies. We can park our Tacomas together and then like when everyone goes on the Mini drives, we'll just go drive our Tacomas real slow over rocks. Uh, Dick Johnson, the CMU event. So in my last video, no, two videos ago, um, it's called Classic Minis United, and it's like one of the biggest clubs here in North America, um, well, really the United States, mostly North America, um, and it's awesome. It's, it's an event that lasts usually from Wednesday until Sunday, happens every year and a half, and we do uh, driving every day every day from like morning to night it's driving it's not about going to park your car although there are a few cars that end up getting parked uh cup it and lizard cole tech my video uh tech my video of my mini please you have a uh you have a video of the mini you want to share it or something post a link Dick Johnson, uh, yes, please look into it. it. It's happening in like three weeks. So if you want to go, you need to register soon. Um, and, uh, and yeah, it, you got to get pre-registered so they know how much food they want to, or how much food they're going to bring. And, you know, just preparing for all the people that'll be there. Minisaurus, good night. And have a wonderful evening. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, Dave, Cole, if you remember, Max, the mini man stacks his minis. I've started stacking them on top of each other as well. Man, it's, it sounds like that is the end goal for any mini owner is to be able to stack their minis. One day, one day I'll be able to stack minis. Life goals. Corey, you just got another package from seven, kind of like Christmas. It is. What's in this package? What'd you get this time? Hey, Ginge625, hey Cole, Brian from the UK, like what you do, mate? Thank you. I like what I do too, it's very fun. I'm glad that you like it. Ah, parking brake stuff. So did you get like those new, uh, like, I don't know what to call them, brackets that hold the wire and everything? Parking brakes are frustrating. 
Well, they're not that bad, thinking about it. There's a lot more frustrating things on this car. I need to clean some shit up. It's a mess out there. Oh yeah, rubber gaiters. That reminds me, my uh, steering rack has uh, the rubber gaiters on that have gone bad, so that'll be a good video when I start pulling apart the front end of this car again. I'm like both looking forward to that and like kind of nervous about it. I mean, it's all together now, and it's kind of nice that it's all together now, but I don't know. Gotta make things better. Gotta clean up stuff. Restore, restore, restore. Thanks, Dave. I really, really appreciate your help. Um, I'll probably be hitting you up about these uh, these hubs a little later on once I'm ready to do some replacements. But anybody else have any other questions or anything while I'm uh, still in the live stream? Probably going to end it here pretty soon now that we've got good old rear brake quiet. Ooh, yeah, that chrome is nice. I actually have that on mine. You can see how that goes on. Thanks for joining, Jonathan. And uh, if you're serious about that crochet, I, I, I will definitely take you up on that offer. Um, shoot me an email, classicminidiy at gmail.com. But yeah, Corey, you can actually see, here's the, uh, the chrome trim on mine. Oh, sorry, Jonathan. It's hard. To, it's hard to keep track when uh, all these these IMs are popping up on the screen. Oops. But Corey, they actually uh, they actually pop in little like copper clips behind that trim, and then the trim it just kind of gets like fed into the trim. It's actually really hard to explain. Now that I'm trying to explain it, I don't even know how to. guys I'm just gonna start cleaning up so oh sorry Corey I'm reading your thing here no worries that's the rev counter dash that will be an issue that will be an issue as I don't have the mk1 instrument pod to mount to ah yes you should be able to get those though the one that I have on my car is not the original one I think I bought that new new molding have a good day. Have a good day, everybody. Thanks so much. Corey, if you need some help with... Thanks so much for joining the live stream. Catch you on the next one.